so good. Now I have to try this. Oh my goodness, these are so good. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make smashed cheeseburgers. These are lovely thin patties, they're real crispy, they cook really quickly. You can do a single or a double burger. And I'm also going to show you how to make homemade chips. Um, really crispy and gorgeous. So let's get started. I have rooster potatoes. I just find roosters brilliant for everything. Oven baking, steaming, and I would say generally one spud is per head. So if you're cooking for four, use four potatoes. Um, but I'm just cooking for myself today because I'm on my own and it's nearly lunchtime. So adjust the quantities accordingly and I will pop everything in the description below what you need. So the reason I'm gonna get the potatoes on first is they can be cooking while my burger is been made up and prepared. So here you go, peel that, good sharp knife, essential. These are our cost ones. And again, depending on how thin you want your chips, obviously the thinner, the better, they'll cook quicker. You might like chunky ones, um, so cut them however way you want. I'm gonna cut them into that size. Chip size, I'm sure there's a name on it. Really important to soak them. Soak them and get all that starch out. That's gonna make them really crispy. These are great with pretty much any dish at all. And obviously they're way healthier than deep frying and shop bought. So I'm gonna fill this with water and I'm gonna leave them just Leave the water run on it there for a few minutes and get all that starch out. You kind of want the water to be clear. Um, and I'm gonna come back then. Okay, so I've rinsed them and I'm drying them really, really well. That's really important. Okay, so get them dried up. And I'm gonna pop them onto my baking tray. I'm drying them with a tea towel. If you have used fabric softener, don't dry them with a tea towel uh, or your chips are gonna taste like fabric softener. There's a little tip, um, use kitchen paper if you have fabric softener or your tea towel. Next up, I have some sunflower oil and a little drizzle of that. Now my little trick is a little bit of butter. It bubbles up and sizzles up, and makes them lovely and crispy. So just a little bit, I'm gonna just plop that there in on top, shake them around. We wanna make sure they're well coated and it's important halfway through cooking to turn these guys. So you can have them plain like this with a pinch of salt. I use the rock salt, I just find it tastes nicer. Um, but if you wanna add flavor, I'm gonna show you how. Smoked paprika or paprika. You can give a little shake of that, just a little. And also garlic powder. This is fab in anything that you're oven baking a potato. A little shake, not too much. And also onion salt, I'm not gonna add it because I think I have enough with the garlic powder. But get yourself, get yourself these. Garlic powder, onion salt, and paprika. They just make so many different things. You can get chicken breasts, marinate them in them, uh, pan fry them. Okay, we're going off topic. Back to the burgers. Carried away talking about spices. So that's then, into a hot oven. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. Hot oven, 180. Leave them there for 15 minutes and I'll check them then and you'll see they get looking crispy. Turn them over and back in again. So I'll get them in the oven. I'll be back to make the burger. Chips are in the oven. I have my burger meat here. Okay, so go to your butcher and ask them for some round steak mince. Usually a pound will do kind of four people. Uh, you can go over if you want, but I found a pound is good for us here. I got two pounds. I made a shepherd's pie with one pound. This was the other pound and I think it was 12 euros. So really, really cost effective. So make your little burger patties and I've just wrapped them up in some parchment paper and into your fridge. So they'll be grand there for a few days. But because it's only me and my own today, I just need one. So I'm gonna show you how to do smashed burgers. Get yourself some parchment paper, tin foil, anything at all. And get your little burger. Uh, like, I don't add anything to this. You can add that garlic powder again if you like. You can add breadcrumbs, an egg, salt and pepper, whatever you want. I season with salt and pepper once it's on the pan. I'll show you that. But this is just pure minced meat. So make a little burger patty onto your parchment paper and then just cover it using a rolling pin 
or a mallet or your hands. You want to get this really thin and this is going to cook so quickly and the edges are going to go crispy. This is what I love about these burgers. And as I said, you can do two. So you have base, burger, you'll need another base and then burger and obviously all your fillings and then this on top. But I'm just going to do a single one today. Obviously, if you're doing two, you'll want two pounds of mince. So you can see there how it's in a heart shape, just for you guys, um, how thin it is. So what we want to do now is season that with a little salt and pepper. I'll season the other side when I flip it. And I'm going to get some butter again into my pan, get that nice and bubbly on the hob. And we're going to get this in. So I'll be back. Okay, they have been in for about five, ten minutes. I just did some emails. I didn't want to put the burger on in case it was cooked before. So make sure you get to the halfway point. I can turn these over now. There's only about six or seven minutes left. That's enough time to get me to finish the burger. The pan is on with that butter. I'm going to turn these guys over. Look how gorgeous they look. I uh, get them back in the oven and we'll move on to the burger next. Okay, I have my butter there, nice and hot on the pan, which is also nice and hot. And my burger is nice and thin. On it goes, I'm gonna season the top of it now and give that about two to three minutes on each side before turning, and I'll be back. But while my burger is cooking, I want to show you how to make a really gorgeous burger sauce. So, mayonnaise, tablespoon of that, Ketchup, a little squirt, I tend not to measure things, probably should, and mustard. Any mustard will do, but I'm using the French, French's hot dog one, and a little squirt of mustard, but the same amount, a little less than the, may, than the ketchup. Then the secret ingredient is pickle juice, so any pickles that you get in your supermarket. I don't use this for the pickles, I use it for the juice. About a teaspoon, this gives that kick that you get in like a takeaway shop. Mix that up. Obviously this is only a very small amount because it's only me. And I'm gonna add a little bit more ketchup. It's a little pale, just to get that nice pinky color and the little kick off the ketchup. That's it, that's your burger sauce. You can make this up, have it in the fridge, Drizzle it over chips, burgers, it's great in a sandwich, a bap, a wrap. So while you're making it, make up a little jar of it and uh, keep it in your fridge. So that's that done. I have some cheddar cheese. Any cheese will do for your burgers. I'm gonna put this on while it's cooking. Cheddar cheese and I have some iceberg lettuce here in my container. We'll chop that up. Red onion, we need an onion. I better check these burgers and see how they are, and I'll be back. That literally had two minutes. Don't press it down, just leave it alone while it's on the heat. And another two minutes, a good non-stick pan is the trick. This is a really good one. Uh, you'll get them in any shop. Get this back on the heat for two more minutes. That's the burger done. I'm just gonna assemble everything now. It's so quick and easy. I also need to toast my bun. So I can do that now. Um, yeah, it's very quick and easy to make this. Obviously great if you're feeding a family because you can do it all together. I actually made the burger patties up so they were in the fridge, which is a little time saver, but all those little time savers add up. Um, right, I'm waffling as I tend to do. So I better get my skates on and get this sorted. Okay, that burger is good to go. The edges are crispy. It's taken literally four minutes to cook. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grate the cheese on top. Because my pan is oven proof, I'm just gonna pop this in the oven for two minutes to get that cheese melted or under the grill, but obviously don't put your pan in. If it's got a plastic handle. So into the oven for two minutes, we're gonna melt this up and the chips are ready to go. So. I'll be back. While that's in the oven, I'm gonna chop up a little red onion. I'd normally kind of fry off white onion, but if you don't have time, a little bit of red onion. And with the bit you've left, pop that in a little container and pop it in the fridge. Cause like, that's not gonna go in the bin now. I can't dump that. That's just total waste. So 
I'll pop that into a airtight container and it's just handy to add sandwiches. That's all I'm using for the burger. Let's see how it's looking. Nearly there, another minute. Okay, my chips are ready to go. What I'm gonna do, because I just love cheese. I have some Parmesan, this is totally not necessary if you don't have any, but I just love my Parmesan. Get yourself a zester, this is great for garlic, Parmesan, ginger, nutmeg, and I'm just gonna grate that on top of my chips, and that will melt a little bit. If you want it, you can pop it back in the oven. They've gone from been plain chips to paprika and garlic powdered and parmesan. But that's it. Put them on a plate. That cheese should be melted by now. Oh my goodness, these are so good. Delish. Them on a plate. And let's check this burger and see how it's looking. That is what we wanted. Melted cheese. Let me show you how thin and crispy this is. Oh, that little bit of cheese on the end. How thin it is? Perfect. Delicious. I just don't like a big, thick burger patty. So let's assemble. I need to get myself something to stand this on. Uh, so I'll be back again. Okay, perfect. I found a steamer. <laughs> on the steamer is the plate, so you can all see me assemble. So we eat with our eyes, so it's really important at this stage to make it look good. Put the work in, relax, and don't just throw it all together. So we're going to get that burger sauce and plenty of it. Pop that on top. Next up, I'm going to add my patty on top with that extra crispy bit of cheese oh my goodness. like you would eat these every day of the week uh, next up is my red onion nice and finely chopped i like my red onion so obviously adjust accordingly to whatever you like um if kids don't like one thing just obviously leave it out good sharp knife and my iceberg lettuce i think iceberg is always good in a burger because you need that crunch don't you so we'll get that on top. Obviously, we can add in some tomatoes if we like. What else? Bacon, crispy bacon. But this is what we're having today. You know, you know yourself. Add whatever you like to your burger. More of that sauce on top. Lots of it. Why not? Lots of it. And I have the bun with the seeded top. Like that on its own now. That would make many a man and a woman happy, but we have our gorgeous Parmesan crispy fries. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, get these out. Pop them over to the side. This is so good. This is better than any takeaway. So quick and easy, so cost effective. That is one potato has made all of these there's probably like too much for me anyways here um one potato quarter pound of mince so cheap like who doesn't have lettuce and mayonnaise and ketchup in the house so there's nothing in this just because i love it i'm going going in for more who doesn't have these ingredients in the house so there's nothing crazy here guess who loves cheese delicious you gotta give this a go guys Thanks for watching. Please let me know if there's anything in particular you would like me to demo here on my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, obviously pop them below. Please subscribe. I am really trying to grow this page. So uh, I hope you give this recipe a go and have a lovely day. I'll talk to you soon.